Hey guys and gals, it's me, George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. And uh, I've been tinkering uh, with my Schwinn Stingray bike today. And I took the carburetor off and cleaned it out. And uh, I'm going to give it a cold start here, see how she goes. I got a little bit of gas rigged up in this plastic tank up here. I also put new... Uh, wrenches on here. I went from the 5 sixteenths that I had on there and I increased them up to uh, 12 millimeter wrenches uh, and they have nylon bushings inside there so it gives a little bit more uh, vibration uh, damping. So let's give this a try and see what happens here. See if I can get a hold of my throttle. carburetor adjustment there. Give it a try again here. set up here if I'm going to be running up on there but she runs on her own power through the carburetor and uh, obviously needs a little bit of tinkering done with it <sighs> but I've been wanting to get that done wanting to get her running so yeah I guess I need to do a little more uh, clampage on the bike I do have a, a big uh, angle bracket clamped on the front wheel here keep it from tipping over sideways which was a good thing because it probably would have been flying but yeah well I guess the next thing will be working on gear setup and uh, I've been stripping some bicycles down and doing some scrapping and uh, I got one gear set up here that came off of a rear wheel on a multi-speed bike but that won't go in there for sure um, but I was thinking maybe back here on the jack shaft and I cut the uh, sprocket bearing holder off of a bicycle and I figured that could get mounted down in here something like that you know, for jack shaft, this bracket would have to come out of the way, obviously. And uh, either a pulley or chain. And obviously, I'm going to have to cut this flange off of here and do something different with the exhaust, which I already knew that. And I still might try putting a different gear setup on the original clutch that goes on here like that you know who knows lots of things to consider and to think about but uh, I 
That's a possibility too. So I thought you'd like to see that update. Uh, it's been cold here in Minnesota, but today it was up almost to 40. So I figured while it's that warm, I better take the opportunity to come out and do a little tinkering out here. Because so I spent half the day working on some power tools. Um, I was given a big old grinder. Did I say a big old grinder? Knocking stuff on the floor. This is a big old Milwaukee grinder. Well, that's a big one. Uh, but I had to put a new cord on it. So I spent probably an hour or so doing that. I had to take the handle all apart. And uh, that kind of good stuff. So, until next time, before I keep on talking and muttering and not making any sense, this is George, the Shade Tree Th Fix It Man, saying thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.